All right, Shalom. 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 All right, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Atlanta Church coming back with you uh, with another lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. But uh, first and foremost, we want to give our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Kodash. Level honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and peace, love, and salutation uh, to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and true sincerity. Uh, I'm the brother Aina. I'm the brother Habar, brother Shema. Like I said, we're a couple few few brothers from the GMS Atlanta Church, and we want to come to you with a lesson about uh, deliverance because we're in a time of the Passover. So, uh, you know, without further ado, uh, we're just going to get to some scriptures, and uh, Lord willing, you be edified. Con, this is um, uh, Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And the land that, that was given to our fathers was the land of Israel, all right? And the land of the north is where we're gonna be delivered from, which is uh, North America, okay? So, uh, the second time is coming where the Lord is going to deliver his people <clears throat> out of the spiritual Egypt because uh, Revelation uh, 11, I think it's 11 and um, I think it's 11 and 8 where it refers to uh, the spiritual uh, yeah, Egypt and uh, Sodom. So we're going to be delivered about this place where we we, we dwelt and do, dealt in uh, hardcore bondage, you know. So in the theme of the Passover, we, we go into scriptures like uh, Exodus 12. Uh, we go through scriptures before that with, with the plagues of Egypt. Mm -hmm. All right, the Lord is sending plagues to Babylon the Great now. Exactly. All right, so like the scriptures say, there's no new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. So basically, hey, this thing is being played out once again through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, and we're waiting to be delivered, man. It's right. You know, you go into that word in the online etymology, it means to uh, to uh, to be liberated, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we're waiting to be liberated from the new Pharaoh. Which is uh, Esau Eden, the so called white man. Mm. Right. So that wasn't anything. Kind of, huh? Yeah, I'd say, um, since you said liberated, um, let me get Revelation chapter 18. Mm -hmm. All right, this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. Okay, it reads, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yeah, we're looking to be delivered from the destruction that is coming to this place. That is soon to come to this place, which is America, man. Okay, and other parts of the earth, because the Lord's going to judge other parts of the earth as well, man. But it says repent. It basically says repent, okay? Come out of her spiritually, because this is hey, this is spiritually Egypt, okay? Come out of, come out of this place spiritually so that you may have a, a chance to be delivered, opportunity. That's why we say, Lord willing, we'll be at that number, man. We'll be at those men to be delivered, okay? Mm -hmm. I got a precept. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> and this is going into us getting back our land, okay? Because that, that's a part of uh, salvation as well, all right? This is um, <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 14, and starting at the top, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, all right? And the Israelites are the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? It says, and. <clears throat> Uh, it says, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Mm -hmm. All right, and those strangers that those are those, those Israelite foreigners. All right, mm -hmm. okay, the, the ones that, that are amongst the other nations that, that may look like the other nations, but they're really their line goes back to Israel. Mm -hmm. All right, it says, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. And that, that we're going to possess the other nations, all right? Because when the Lord brings us back to, to our rightful uh, uh, status, all right, as, as kings, we're, we're going to be over the other nations, okay? Mm -hmm. It says, it says, uh, and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over the oppressors, all right? And that goes into to being liberated, man. Because right now we're under our oppressors, man. Our oppressors are ruling over us. 
Well, like we're in the lowest condition we've ever been in, man. We're living in, in, in like pretty much shacks. Really, our, our houses are really just shacks compared to what we're gonna get in the kingdom. All right, and it says, it says, um, whose whose captives they were, they shall rule over their oppressors. Verse three, and it shall come to pass, and that in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. All right, so that's what's that's what's coming. Lord willing, if we endure to the end, that's what's coming to us, man. That deliverance, kind yeah. uh, that that was it. Yeah, because yeah. like uh, with the scripture, can you read that scripture again where it says the Lord delivers from our sorrow? Con, uh, Isaiah fourteen and verse three, it says, "And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve." Yeah, that goes into the uh, curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28, and um, I'm going to start at verse 64. Uh, and the Lord shall, Deuteronomy 28, 64, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even to the other. So that goes into the Israelite foreigners. You know, that's something that's hard. That's a hard concept for some right. jakes because they're in this, you know, pro-black. Yeah, back they're carnal. They're carnal. Yeah, they're carnal. Yeah. Because the Lord, the Lord scatters among the heathen. Um, it says, from the one end of the earth until the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, neither which thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Being into two, mostly, what are the two biggest religions? Christianity, mm -hmm. Islam. Mm -hmm. um, verse 65, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease. <sighs> Yo, that's it. Yeah. No ease, man. Wherever we go, we're called some type of proverb and byword. We're, we're, hey, when you look at, um, there's a tribe in Thailand called the Manny tribe, and those are jakes that got scattered, man. They living in like, bro, you, we living in apartments and houses, man. Right. These jakes are living in mud tents. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like outside of, um, just in Thailand, outside of like Bangkok and the major cities, they living out in the woods, man. You know, um, it says, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shalt thou, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee, shall give their, sloppy, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So our people are already conditioned to have a sorrow of mind. Like, oh Lord, you know, you know, like, uh, uh, Sanford and Son, when the main character was like, I'm, I'm coming to see you, you know what I'm saying? Just always got something that's vexing on your spirit. Yeah. You know, you can never, uh, we can never get ahead in this right. uh, um, in this society, man. Mm -hmm. And here's the main point in 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and thou shalt have none assurance of thy life. We're not guaranteed to live, man. Right. You know, in this current setup, you know, here today, gone tomorrow, man. That's what Jay said. You know, your homeboy was here today, now he's gone tomorrow. He's six feet deep. Or one of your family members, they could just drop dead, man. There's no assurance of life, especially here in America where right. everything is carcinogenic. Right. You know? So we're looking to be delivered from just death as a whole, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like the scriptures say, um, it was it First Corinthians 15 where this says the last enemy is death. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're looking to be delivered from death, man. Yeah. You know? That's right. I got preset. Yeah, you got If I can add to what you said, like, right now we're in the valley of the shadow of death, man. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. We need deliverance, man. Uh, this is Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Mm -hmm. All right? So this, this isn't our rest. All right? America is, isn't the place... Where we where we settle down as a nation, man. Right. All right, this ain't it. It's polluted, like the brother said. This place is carcinogenic, man. Well, it's, it's cancerous. All right, everything in this place, the, the food, the, the air you breathe. All right, the, the jobs that they're wearing us out. Yeah. All right, man, we're, we're being oppressed, man. Yep. And, and if you're not in the spirit of one wanting to get out of here, you're not in the right spirit. All right, because you should be, you should want to get out of here, man. You should want your own, your own land and righteousness. Okay. If I could back up the brother too, um, because you wanted to get out of here is really showing you have faith, man. You actually right. believe there is a kingdom of heaven that we that is going to be established on earth. 
You know, you if you those that don't or that complacent and settle on their leads right now, they think this this they think this is how life is supposed to be. But right, the scriptures right. tell us this is not how it's supposed to be. That's just how that's just how prophecy has it at the moment. Right. Okay, so but it's by it's by the kingdom of heaven is for the Israelites, man. We're supposed to be because the second Ezra chapter seven verse ten spoke about or or mentioned that this world was made for for the uh for Israel's sake. You know, he made the world for Israel's sake, man. But I want to get the scripture to back you up with uh Luke chapter 21, verse uh I straight I get straight to the point, verse 36. It reads, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Because we stand before the Son of Man, we it's ultimately of course about to be that you about to be delivered, man, because you was accounted worthy to escape. That's what we hope. That's what we truly hope and meditate upon every day, man. You know, you gave us if you gave us one wish, we asked to be delivered, man. Right. You know, that's what we that's our main, that's our main objective, man, to be delivered. That's what we do, what we do. That's why right. we pray, that's why we do videos, that's why we study to all to be delivered, man. That's what that's the in all be all to be delivered by who? Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right. Not man, not celebrities, not by some money, not you know, hey by Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. That's man. right. You know, and, and it's angry. That's yeah, right. Man. That's just what do we always say? We want to get the hell up out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's we when we look through a, we have we have the eyes out to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, we we see every day. You know, this current administration and the current other administrations, uh, this godforsaken place, constantly put the uh, homosexuality and the and transformers and <laughs> unlawful food, unlawful foods. Yeah. The women is over the man. The, these women really think that they're gonna overcome the man. And that's the type of society that we live in. Mm -hmm. So the 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 the, stat, the 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 majority of people think we're crazy, man. Mm -hmm. But if you say that you believe in God and you believe in the Bible, this is what the Bible says, man. It yeah, says it's, it. if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, as we mentioned in Deuteronomy 28, if you're scattered among these nations and you identify yourselves as being a Hebrew Israelite, you want to get the hell up out of here, man. Exactly. You know, it doesn't matter where you live at. You can live in France. Exactly. Israelites still over Israelites still there. Oppressed. You got Israelites. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got Israelites down there in uh what's that part of France? Mar Marseille, France. They got ghettos everywhere, man. Mm. Ghettos in London, you know, ghettos in Holland, Spain. Mm. There's ghettos everywhere. And what they can what do they have? The Jews. That's where the that, yeah. the real Jews, not them mm. guys over there that's in our land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that you will want to look forward to right. when you read these scriptures. These scriptures uh, uh, add to uh, the comfort, man. Yeah. If I can just quickly add to the brother's point, because some, you know, simple, our, you know, our people, you know, uh, tend or have a trend to, you know, argue our points, right? So one of the men argue there and say, well, what about the ones that have money? You, hey, those you people are still oppressed, man. You people are still getting taxed. You know, you still, it's still hard for you to get approved for loans. It's all certain, it's all certain type of aspects with Esau holds over you to have, to have authority and ownership of you. You know, so the, just because, the, you know, Jacob had that, like, oh, we, we, we in the kingdom right now because people will feel like that, man. Mm -hmm. you, right. you're like, oh, what did he? And, you know, whatever celebrities, people, yeah. and, you know, idol worship, they think they're in the kingdom of heaven. No, man, you still been oppressed, man. Once you realize that this is not how life is supposed to be and that you're oppressed, that you need deliverance, you will seek. You know, you had the zeal to seek the truth right. or ultimately seek how about right. you outside. And, and if I can say that, that's why the scripture says the gift destroyed the heart, man. Yeah. Because yeah. niggas, they actually think, especially in here in Atlanta, they think they're in the kingdom of heaven. Like, bro, <laughs> so we see it at camp, bro. Yeah, yeah. They be driving by and the little slingshots, the yeah. little, uh, yeah, yeah. they got the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the damn uh, Hellcats. The niggas think they're in the, the kingdom of heaven, bro. <laughs> they think they're in the kingdom of heaven because mm -hmm. that, that gift that you saw gave them destroyed their heart, man. You saw, gave them a little money, you know, and they think they think they made it. I got something for you, Shemai. <laughs> this is uh, Zephaniah one and eighteen. Neither shall neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yeah. But the whole land shall be devoured, devoured by the fire of his jealousy. See? For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. See, hey. They, they, that, uh, that's gonna be the fulfillment of the economic collapse, man. Yeah. People, you know, have, they have so much trust and hope in this American dollar and currencies. You know, that's not gonna that's not gonna get you delivered, man. Okay, it said it brought a fire. That's one of the things we we want to escape. Mm -hmm. And by the and by the angels and by the chariots of Yahweh, we will be able to. If we, of course, found worthy, man. 
But you people don't you people don't see that coming. Mm-hmm. That's why it's gonna catch you unaware, man. That destruction is gonna catch you unaware. Yeah. Peace and safety, but sudden destruction. Right. It's gonna get real, man. You know, deliverance can never be brought up enough, man. Cause that's 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 the end. That's all it's the NRP. All that's the goal, man. Yeah. You know. I got another one. Um, yeah, got so. uh, Ezekiel 7 and 19. Mm-hmm. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. All right, because you've been adding up iniquity with all these dollar bills. Now, don't get it twisted. Money is a defense, right? Okay, we're not we're not foolish here, right? But <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of our people, man, they just add sin to sin, man. The love yeah. of money is the root of all evil, man. Mm-hmm. And as hey, history repeats itself, you get hyperinflation, man. Yeah. Okay, look what's going on down there in uh, Venezuela right now. They're depending on the U.S. dollar because they're printing out million dollar bills that are worth fifty three cents. So that's gonna come to America, man. So all you all the all you jakes with the money phones and that's not going to deliver you, man. You're going to be using that to, to warm your house up, man. Yeah. You know, the scriptures prophesied, like we said. Yep. If you believe in the Bible, hyperinflation, uh, collapse of the economy, it's all in the Bible, man. Right. We need to be delivered from this hellhole, man. Right. Yeah, if I can add to, to what you just said about, about the money, like, what's money going to do when you can't buy anything? Like, what's that gonna do? They showed that in the movie uh, I'm Legend. The scene when he was in the bank, it was all money, all type of floor. He, he didn't care about that money. He was, he was stepping over it. Uh, if I can quick switch, you, you got it. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Right. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Well, what, 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 can, what can you do when you have a gun pointed at your face? You can't buy your way out of that. All right, when bullets are flying at you, you can't buy your way out of that situation. When, when missiles are falling from the sky, you can't buy your way out of that situation, man. All right, the only thing that's going to get us out of that, like I said, righteousness delivered from death. Yeah, All right, right, doing the works. So, Lord willing, the, the angels, the the how shine the angels coming back with the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, to beam yeah. us up. Yeah, All right. Bro. Yeah. Come on. That's on point, man. Come. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Come. This is second Ezra chapter 6, verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world, and the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. So that's those that believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, they're going to be men, all right, predestined. We don't, we don't know the certain amount, but they're going to be believers that will not even taste of death. And Lord, we we be we be a few of them, man. Uh-huh. You know that not even want to die because people love them. You know that's that's our people rebuttal, man. So what you gonna do when the missile shot? What you gonna do when that gun point in your right. face? Hey, Lord, with the angels can stop that bullet, take us up and get beat up in the chariot. That's man. right. You know, get deliver us out of any situation that you did in, to, to the men of the Lord and prophets in the scriptures. That's you know, right. if nothing is far fetched or our power, man. We know that we just gotta maintain our faith in that. You know, and if we do that, we good, man. We good. We're not going to have no doubt, no worry in that day, man. You know? Con, con, I got a precept to, to what you just said, if I may. Um, you got it. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 11, because it's all about faith, man. Hebrews 11 and verse 6, it says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right, so so like you said, JB asked me, what, what are you going to do in that day? What are you going to do when the missiles come? Well, the Lord, well, if we diligently seek the Lord, he's going to reward us for that, man. And he's going to get us out of those situations. All right, because th- these people don't they don't have faith in the Heavenly Father, man. Mm-hmm. The Heavenly Father created everything. So you think you think it's it's, some, it's hard for him to, to, to save us out of a situation that he created? Like, <laughs> Jake, Jake don't have faith, man. But Lord willing, Lord willing, our faith increases, man, so we could get through those times. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of, you got it. this is um, Psalms chapter twenty-seven, uh, verse twelve. It says, "Well, I'll start at eleven. Uh, mm-hmm. Psalms twenty-seven, eleven. Teach me thy ways, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path." So this is a plain path, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you see us on the highways and byways. And like brother said, well, you guys are gonna do the, the scriptures tell us how to attain salvation, man. 
you have to endure. You have to do the work. You have to have the faith. Mm-hmm. You have to pray. At times, you have to fast. You have to fellowship. Mm-hmm. You know, so th- this is a plain path, man. Right. But you know, it's not rocket science. Yeah. Right. right. Sometimes right. our people, you know, we make things harder than what it is, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, continuing on, it says, because of my, I'll start from the top. Uh, Psalms 27 and 11, teach me thy way, O Yahweh, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. Verse 12, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. And uh, we know we come into that time where they're going to start pointing the finger at us, man. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we need to be delivered from the will of the enemies. What's what's the will of the enemies when, like the brother said, when they when this money is useless, they're going to bring about the chip, man. Mm-hmm. The, the MOB, you know, we got to we got to use cold words now. The MOB, Revelation 13 and 16, man. So these scriptures are already written a four time for our learning, man. So when you read these scriptures, you got to think of yourself being delivered from the will of your enemies. That goes into what the brother mentioned by having faith. And um, was it Hebrews 11? Right, right. Hebrews 11 and 6. Time. I'll continue on. It says, uh, verse, thir- verse 13, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Verse 14, wait on the Lord. All right, in this society, it's always hurry up, hurry up. This microwave society, this fast food uh, mentality. I want it now. Right. You, you know, yeah, that mentality, hurry up. We have to wait on the Lord, man. We have to endure. We have to be patient, which means to suffer. Right. You know, that's one of the things that it's a reward, man. With, with anything, if you want to be a basketball player, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you know, if you want to go to college or whatever, you have to be patient and then you get your reward. Mm-hmm. So how much more what the Lord is going to give us? The Lord is going to reset this planet and give us all the vital resources that we don't have. <laughs> OK, all the stuff that we don't have and then give it over to us, man. Huh. You know, yep. it says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. He's going to strengthen your mind. So when all this shit starts happening. We are all like, yeah, we've been doing the righteous acts, we've been doing these lessons. I did this lesson with this brother about this certain topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember doing that. I remember that scripture. Mm-hmm. And all these things are gonna come to mind when all hell breaks loose. And we right. look forward to all hell breaking loose, man. Yeah. You know? Right. Because we know there's no other way around it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. You got it. I was gonna say if I could say what you what you said, that's gonna give us confidence in that day, <clears throat> knowing that, that that we was doing these lessons. That we was uh, sacrificing for the Lord. That's gonna give us confidence in that day, because mm-hmm. we're gonna know that the Lord's with us. Yeah, I got scriptures back at your point, y'all point. So you got some. Come on, finish this real quick. It says, uh, "I'll read from the top." Psalms twenty-seven and fourteen. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Mm-hmm. So we, we we just gotta wait, man. Yeah, right. kind. That's part of that plain way the brother mentioned. You know, but I got the scripture to back y'all points up. This uh, Hebrews chapter six, verse nine, uh, mainly Kabar's point says, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we does speak. Like you like you said, we, we, we're talking, we're doing things, plain things that are going to bring forth deliverance. It's not rocket science. But verse, your point, verse 10, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he has showed towards his name and that he had ministered to the saints and do minister, you know, like right. the brother, like the brother mentioned. That's why you're gonna have that, that full confidence because of this script, this particular scripture here, because of Hebrews chapter nine and um and verse ten, you know, because they may, I know the Lord not gonna have you do do me like that, which he of course he can, but you know he and the Lord we know the Lord is merciful right. and we're the, and we're truly the last candidates for death. We've been at least attempting to rehearse the righteous acts yeah. coming upon Passover, a high holy day. Yep. You know, the you no know, the rest of the world's not doing this. All the Israelites are scattered around. Hey, a lot of a lot of spirits are not doing this, man. Right. So they're not putting that blood on their doorposts, their door, their doorposts. Yeah. You know, so hey, it's not, why not have why not have that full confidence <laughs> when when she does hit the fan, which we know it's inevitable to happen. It's part of prophecy. Destruction must come to pass before the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You know? That's right. Like like the scriptures say. I have reserved 7,000 men who have not mm-hmm. uh, bowed down to the image of all. Mm-hmm. Most of our people get ready for Easter. Yeah. You know, the Lord said, the Lord said that uh good is set before evil. Mm-hmm. We're, you know, we're coming on, on a Passover. Okay. But then 
on I think April 4th, which is so-called Sunday, which is the worship of the sun, do you got people going out and, and celebrating East, uh, bunnies that lay eggs, man? So there's a distinction between those who are doing the work in true sincerity who are actually waiting on salvation and deliverance and those are just taking st stuff on face value because somebody said, hey, let's let's go Easter egg hunt. Right. No, man. You know, we're waiting for we're waiting for uh, better days where our people just aren't so we're, we're also doing this work for y'all, man. Yeah. You know, even true. though y'all y'all look at us like we crazy, most of y'all gonna come against us. You know, Lord willing, we be those men. And in those days, you gonna be like, yeah, man, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all was out there yeah. when, um, you know, when I when I said, hell no, them niggas is crazy, right. you know. So that that goes into also uh, the part of patience, man, dealing with your own people, and then dealing with the, the, the everyday um, goings of life, man. Yeah, if I can add to your point too, uh, seeing sincere believers wake up, awaken to the truth, that boosts our faith, man. Exactly. You know that that boosts our faith, man. So we, of course, we, that's what we want to see. We want to see our people take heed to the truth, man. We don't like to see our people fan their hand or ignore. Now we want our people to seek you how about shot along with us. You know, it boosts our faith as well, man. So, of course, I think we come off as like, oh, they don't give a damn about me. No, nah, yeah, we want yeah. you to repent. Right. And we both want to make it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we look at it. That's right, you know? man. <laughs> <laughs> you got, uh, for example, precepts? Nah, I mean, nah I, that's all I had, really. Um, Unless you want to get a, uh, I had a, I had a precept for you pertaining to waiting. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, this is uh, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. This is this the last one I had. This um, Therefore, wait ye upon me, like the brother mentioned. He ate, he ate, Lord said, wait. He made our, that made us, you know, I think about that sometimes too. He made our path easier by just saying, wait. He didn't tell us to go build like he did. Noah mm -hmm. build a like, big ass building. Yeah. We were struggling yeah. like hell doing that, bro. <laughs> for, real, for real, bro. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me, said the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that destruction is coming. We just got, but that, with that destruction comes deliverance of the of the elect in the remnant, man. You know, there's a great multitude of believers, man. So yeah, it's like 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 you just, just land back off your point. The Lord didn't ask us to build an ark. We're not sacrificing our first firstborn like Abraham almost did with Isaac. We're not out here butt naked like uh, what was it Jeremiah? I think that was Jeremiah. I think it was Somebody, Jeremiah. Which probably had to uh, also eat. Well, they dumb. Had to eat dumb. Yeah, well, you could have to eat dumb. I think Jeremiah had to walk to the streets naked. Yep. I think it was Jeremiah Isaiah, if I'm mistaken. But the Lord is not asking us to do like just extra heavy stuff, man. Mm -hmm. We just got to sacrifice our weekends, sacrifice our time with doing these lessons. All right. And, and that, that's part of the plain, uh, uh, plain path, man. Yep. It's, it's really uh, uh, not that hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Light affliction. Yeah, a lot of afflictions, man. You know, you, you might have a woman that might leave you or, you know what I'm saying? You you might go have to live with some relatives for a minute or, you know, yeah. some, some a lot of affliction, man. Yeah. All right. The What, what did Yahweh say? Yahweh say uh, the, the, the yoke is light. Yeah. You know, that's part of our salvation, man. We just we just got to follow the script uh, of the scriptures and, and endure. You know, prayer, prayer is, is heavy as well, man. Asking the Lord. To forgive you of your sins, man, because we need to be saved from ourselves, man. That's right. We need to be saved from this, uh, yeah, this with your flesh, man. Right, we right, messed right. up. We went off. Uh, right. Let me get that right quick. Um, the one of Philippians. Yeah, if you can get that, yeah, one. I'll read it for you. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one in Jude too. That's one of my favorite scriptures. Yeah, we just close on out, man. You know? Yeah, I got it. Uh, Philippians chapter three. And verse 20, it says, for our conversation is in heaven, from mm -hmm. whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. All right. And that's what we're waiting for, man. That's ultimately the uh, deliverance, man. All right, waiting, waiting for uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai to come back and change our, our vile bodies. That's what we want, man. So we won't have to uh, sin no, anymore. All right, we won't have to uh, deal with no heartbreak, no no pain, nothing, man. Yeah. All that's gonna be wiped away. Um, you got uh, anybody's got anybody's got any more precepts?
Nah, that's that's all I have. Man. All right, we just ended off on um shoot, Revelation twenty one. Hey, that's really the spirit. I was hey, that's the spirit though. I was thinking about Revelation twenty one and four. <laughs> hey, he said, "Can you the brother say wipe away? You know all you know all that things. And another thing that's gonna wipe away from is death. That's right, one of the right. main things I look forward to personally, man. Yeah. Living forever." My mind can't even fathom that, man, because like, before the truth, man, I fear death, man. Right. I ain't want to die. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. what the hell, bro? I live like 70, 80 years, it's, it's over with. Yeah. But now the truth hey, the truth sets you free, man. Right. The truth sets right. you free, bro. Right. So, yeah, Colin, you got it, bro. Uh, I just ended off on this. This is uh, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Verse two, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Verse three, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, "Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they shall be His people, and the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their power." And the point is in uh, verse four, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Mm. Neither shall there be any more pain, but the former things are passed away. So, hey, these former things that we see here in Babylon, the great the valley of shadow of death, the place of great confusion, there's going to be no more, man. We actually going to laugh and be like, yeah, man, remember in 2021, we were living in Atlanta, Georgia, man. <laughs> man, he's going to be that testimony, man. Yeah, yeah. that shit. You know what I'm saying? We had to go to uh uh what was that place, man? We had we had to we had to deal with, with this oppression. You know, we was actually eating a Chick-fil-A. Like, what the hell, man? Oh man, right. All right, we had to go to Wingstop. Well, we actually ate GMOs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our air wasn't even clean. Our right. air wasn't clean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man, man. <sighs> Testimony, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's, this is all, and it's all being written in the in the book of life, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. hey, our names are written in that. That's why. We, that's why. Hey, Lord, really, our names are written in the book of life, man. Yeah. We, our kids will be reading about these, like, damn, yeah. this is about because this place yeah. never being happening again. Mm -hmm. It's a prophecy, so they're gonna be like, oh my god, it's gonna be. We're gonna be. Yeah. Hey, Lord, yeah. we're gonna be great men, man. Right, and, right. And we, and we be though. We be at that number. We be those men. It's gonna be a book about this brother, this brother, <laughs> man. all the brothers, man. Only for the four thousand. We're gonna be the new superstars on the face of the earth, Lord willing, man. Lord willing. All right, it's it's gonna be like a laugh. It's gonna be just like, man, bro, we see the McDonald's, man. You know, not saying we eat it now, but you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> man, you know, you grew up in a society, man, thinking that this was the way. No, this is the way, man. This is the way to uh salvation. So, mm -hmm. any brothers sure. got any more uh precepts? No, no, no. Hey, Lord willing, uh, you brothers and sisters were edified. You know, once again, uh, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great mills, Don Ruel, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth, sincerity. Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. Hey, a Baba Ball.